What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Sounds familiar, so you probably know the coach. Yeah, striker. Yep, I thought that team name sounded familiar. So it's got a good coach here, 12-7-4, pretty decent starting record. So no matter what, we're not having changing weather here. He's got his full roster. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's missing a skink. So he's got a guard, stand firm, a break, tackle, crocs. Block, mighty blow. So only two mighty blow. That's good. Block, mighty blow, tackle. Whatever the fuck that is. Is that shadowing? Okay. That's an interesting choice on a source. Two shadowings. Wow, that's really interesting. So block shadowing there, block guard here, block guard here, block, and then tackle. A rookie skink is really nice. Move boosted skink is gone, or, or moving skink is gone for this match. A sidestepper and then two sidestep diving tackles. Nine fan factor, one cheerleader, one coach, two rerolls. Only two rerolls. That could come back to get him a little bit. <coughs> Only 50k I'm giving him. What range or what stage of development do you most enjoy for Kimry? Um, I like them all really. I I just love playing Kimry. Period. Doesn't matter. I play. I like playing brand new Kimry. A little more. Uh, it's a little more uh, fun to play him at beginning level because of uh, lack of skills. But they're still. Uh, they can do a lot more early on as well because teams you're going to be playing are brand new teams as well that don't have skills either and they can't they don't have a lot of guard and stuff like that to be able to match your strength so makes uh for fun good or beginning level fun mid level's decent because you've already got some mighty blow going on your tomb guardians um high level is really fun when you get them all if you if your tomb guardians are hey, still alive and head level Dude, they're uh they're really fun <laughs> Two, two <laughs> what? Thanks for the fire, the uh, subscription, man. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for giving me your uh, your Twitch Prime. Those are always, always appreciated. Let's see what we got. Yeah, he said something, but I didn't see it. Let's get lined up here. Um, we'll let him hit on some uh, skellies here. We'll get our edge boosted throw rot right off the pitch. Uh, oh, there he is. I was like, wait a minute, where the fuck is my other Tomb Guardian? Found him. Alright, so he rolled a 5 to go with his 9. I rolled a 12 to go with my 9. Holy cripe. Holy cripes, man. So 21 for me and 14 for him. So I'd say I got fame. So I'm going to have plus 2 because of the fan, fact, fan favorite. We both have the um, cheerleader and the coach, so those will cancel out. Let's see what he had to say.
Oh, that's right. I got kicked, don't I? Let's see a blitz right here. Come on, baby. Blitz me up. Blitz me up, baby. Blitz me up. Oh, I'll throw a rock. But it goes to my favor. Ooh, and a KO on a uh, skink. That means he's down to three skinks for the half. Without me doing anything. We like that, don't we? We like that. I was going to say, wow, all those hits and he didn't take anybody down. <clears throat> the one hit he did take somebody down with was a mighty blow hit that didn't do him any good. <coughs> mighty blow did not do him any good. Need him to fail this pickup. <coughs> At least the first one. Make him use one of his two rerolls. That'd be nice. Another no takedown. Gotta love that. Where's he gonna blitz at now? <coughs> Push him here and then blitz there. Yep. Oh, he's gonna do that before he picks it up? Wow, that's gutsy as fuck. Come on, Crocs, fail. Ugh. That was gutsy as fuck right there. If he'd have trip-redded right there, oh, man. That would have been so bad for him. That would have been so bad. All right, so let's see here. right off the bat. Nice. <clears throat> oh, no. Damn it. We're re-rolling that for sure. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, baby. Cross his motherfucking ass up. Cross him up. Cross him up. Oh, baby. Oh, fuck. I got caught. Damn it. That would have been a big guy to get off with that block, block guard. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh Oh, double fives on the armor. Six, seven, eight. Uh -uh. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, I appreciate that, Wacked. Uh, you know what? Development? I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know if that's a rule or not, to be honest. <coughs> One of these times, blitzing with that fucking Crocs is gonna burn him. One of these times, that's gonna burn his ass. <coughs> yeah, now I can get three dice there, unfortunately. Or two dice, I mean, not three dice. Pushed me the wrong way, though. Oh, he breaks me. At least I regen. He got lucky he broke me there because he pushed me the wrong way. He was going to let me get my guard right up. <clears throat> that was a terrible push. <clears throat> that was a terrible push. But he gets away with it. <laughs> I'm going to leave this guy out of the way here. it would have been the second one. I hate having to use a reroll on the failed first one. And I didn't get him taken down either, unfortunately. That sucks. That sucks. That sucked. Yes, it does work. It does. It, it, there's no visual for it, but it works. I've verified that it does. Plays a minimum of 30 games in a season and survives. The champion can pick another player to have fan favorite skill in the following season. Oh, nice. So I need to get through 30 games. Well, it was pretty easy to see that's what he was going to do. <clears throat> and, of course, he breaks. He's not missing on those, is he? Every hit that he can break, he's breaking. Wait a minute. Did I not stand him up? Oh, fuck. Could he stood up that turn, or did he get knocked down that turn? I don't remember if he got knocked down that turn or not. Wow, gonna do a one die, huh? Gutsy as fuck. <coughs> Gutsy as fuck. I mean, he did have blocks, so. I think both those guys did, didn't they? Yeah, they both did. Jesus, man, his fucking block dice are ridiculous. Slow down, dude. Seriously. Fuck. Not only is block dice ridiculous, he's fucking breaking on every single hit. Jesus Christ. Of 
course, I can't get a fucking takedown to save my life. <coughs> Naturally. Naturally. And I gotta give this croc somebody else to hit now. it took him down too so there is that need his dice to slow down man his dice have been on fire dice have been on fire Oh, I know, uh, I know whacked some, uh, some spiders, don't I? W A W H A C K E D M A K I. <laughs> yeah, M A K I. For the sub, thank you, good sir. Again, much appreciated. 30 games. I don't know if I can get the 30 games. Ah, yeah, I'll get the 30 games. This is 19. I need 11 more before the end of October. <coughs> if I can get 11 games, that's the other question. Lucky to get one game each time I try to spin right now. Hey, he didn't get a yellow. Holy shit. Looky there, looky there. Hello, looky there. No take down there either. Nice. Probably just take the both down there. Yep. There we go. We finally had something bad. Ooh, double skulls. Nice. Bet I didn't break his ass. That would have been nice. So there's my blitz there. <coughs> so let's do that first. There we go. Maybe things are finally starting to turn around a little bit. No break though, unfortunately. Damn it! Break him! Right. Break your motherfucking self, foo. Break your motherfucking self, foo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Break your motherfucking self, foo. There we go. Oh, yeah. There goes one of them diving tackle bitches. The fuck off my pitch, boy. You're not supposed to be on my pitch. Kid. Nice job, new kid. Kid Atomic Grunt. Five for the cross. Uh, do I want to do the one die here and then move him in for that? It's going to blitz here.
perfect, good enough. Give me yellow. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's the shit I'm talking about right there. That's the shit I'm talking about. I could have at least stayed down. Boneheaded. Damn it. Let's see if failed, go for it here. Make him use his last reroll, please. Pushes are good. Nope. Oh, he rolled a two. So close. He did not get the yellow, though. That's good. He'll follow up here. <clears throat> run, bitch. Run. I could actually get to him pretty easily with a dodge out here. Actually get to him pretty darn easily. But I think I'm going to do the one die instead. Oh, come on. Just need a fucking push. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, man. I would have double failed to turn the dodge, by the way. <clears throat> All I need is a push. That's it. A push. Four out of six chance to get him gone. Four out of six chance. Instead, he fucking lucks into a shit, shit score that he shouldn't get. Lucky motherfucker. Yep, now I can get the hit on him. <clears throat> Oh, so disgustingly sick. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, he should have been stopped right here. He should have been hit right there with my... And I did the right play. I hit with the right guy. <clears throat> and, of course, he hits with the guy that won't fucking turn over with bad dice. Hey, looky there. That'll work. Oh, and he wasted the reroll. That's a terrible reroll right there. Absolutely terrible reroll. Absolutely terrible. <clears throat> At least he didn't get double takedown, right? Yep. Shouldn't have wasted his last reroll there. That was absolutely dumb reroll, to be completely honest. Absolutely dumb reroll. <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. I need to get this hit here, push him, get that hit there. So we're gonna stand that. I'm gonna bring this guard into here. <clears throat> And this. Hope I can get no turn over here. Perfect. <clears throat> and then just a push here. Perfect. And then a blitz here. and hope I cross him. Nope. Whew. Well, at least we made both of those. That's a good thing. <clears throat> I don't know why he followed there. That was a bad follow. He just gave me a free hit on him. Well, he's got to make some dodges now. <clears throat> or a one-die blitz is actually what he'll do. He'll one-die blitz and then probably get greedy and one die, try to one-die surf me, I bet you. 
bet you that's what he does. What do you guys want to bet that's what he does? <clears throat> the, the dodge is better, actually. Oh, he's going to do the one-die blitz there, I bet. The dodge is the better play. Because with the blitz, you got to dodge a skull and a... Actually, yeah, the dodge is a better play. It's even better than doing that, to be honest. <clears throat> because that required so many rolls to get away with. So he's trying to stall out is what he's doing. It's a greedy play. <clears throat> if I make a 4 plus dodge, I can get him. He had to make so many dice to get that playoff with no reroll. It's actually an extremely terrible play. <clears throat> he keeps doing the uphill and not getting burned by it. First things first, let's get him here. Let's do this hit here. We're going to go for broke here. Try to get the ball out. That's all we can really do. Because <clears throat> he's going to score anyway. Unless I get lucky and get the ball out here. Actually, there's really no even no reason to do that, is there? Four plus dodge. Oh shit! Come on, give us a takedown, baby. Oh, you lucky fucker, man. Lucky fucker. <clears throat> oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Didn't get skink back. That's good. <laughs> hmm. We can get a uh, potential foul off here. <clears throat> we get a roll back the clock. We could score. We're going to set up for a roll back to clock here. And then uh, if we don't get it, then we'll do the hits and we'll potentially foul if we get all 
if the guy's knocked down in a way we can get a bunch of assists. <coughs> well, that's a wasted blitz, so that's good. At least he got it here and not in the start of the next half. Alright, so we'll just do our hits here then. Ugh, god dang it. I should have blitzed with my fucking blitzer there. That was stupid. <clears throat> should have blitzed with my blitzer, because that way I at least had the block. Didn't even get the foul. Jeff, what's up, man? Hey, Jack Bull, how you doing? And he gets his skink back, of course. Ah, uh, that stinks. So we're both... Actually, no, he's minus one. I'm good. I still got 11. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Perfect defense. Come on. <sighs> That's frustrating. Yep, everybody goes over here now. <clears throat> Lucky fucker. He only died. Oh, wow. Why would he go there? You're still giving me two mighty blow hits. Ah, uh, yeah, he gets two mighty blow hits no matter which way he goes. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Come on, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> nice break there. Too bad it's nothing else. That was the wrong guy. I meant to move the guard piece in there. <clears throat> This guy, at least. Nope. 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 <clears throat> I want to try to score with this new thrower off. I can get a couple touchdowns on her. <laughs> How far can he get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He can get all the way down. If he wants to come all the way down there, he can come all the way down there. <coughs> we'll take three hits. Uh, third place average. Right, bring everybody in. He wants a one die hit on this guy. 
Such a terrible play, but he's going to get away with it, I bet you. I bet you he gets a yell and he probably breaks me. Wait a minute, how did he get two dice? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, Fine. No, that's actually a good play. I didn't realize that was two dice. I was thinking it was only one die. For some reason, I was thinking I had guard on one of these skellies, but I don't. So that's absolutely a good play. I take that back. <coughs> I take that back. <coughs> Get an assist over here. <coughs> yeah, I don't care about that. Of course he gets a one die yellow. Why the fuck wouldn't he get a one die yellow? I wanted to free him up to blitz that skink. Damn it, that fucking pisses me off, man. Ooh, that's a one die. <coughs> fucking pisses me off to no fucking end. <sighs> one die yellow after one die. And of course I roll double skulls because why the fuck wouldn't I roll double skulls? <coughs> Alright, what do I want to do here? <coughs> get in there. Get in there. It's one die a piece. Oh, that's a nice break. Ooh, that's a really nice break. <coughs> Did not expect that. <coughs> Did not expect that at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could get to me. <coughs> one die there. <coughs> if I come in here, yeah, so let's stand him up. <coughs> nice. Well, at least I get the one die yellow back. It's only fair, right? <coughs> That's only fair. Got two of them, so I definitely can't complain now. Definitely cannot complain about that now, can I? <coughs> I'll quit complaining. Oh, I know Striker's a good coach. He's a very aggressive coach, but he's good. <clears throat> He's an extremely ag aggressive coach, though. He does not play cautious at all. And when he the dice are going his way, that play, plays into his favor. Uh, regen's good, so that's good. <clears throat> Just a badly hurt anyway. Need to get these other two skinks out. If I get these other two skinks out, I can score quick and then go for the win. <coughs> 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 
Oh, nice. Double skulls for him. Oh, and he wastes one of his two rerolls on it. I would not have used my reroll on that. Because he's only got two. <coughs> I think that was a bad use of a reroll there. <coughs> to be completely honest. I think that was a bad use of a reroll there. <coughs> So let's blitz here, because it's three dice. <coughs> Come on, mighty blow. I'm gonna break him, but that's it. Come on, Mighty Blue. Break this motherfucker. Break this motherfucker. Oh, I did. Oh, damn. Just a stun. Oh, that would have been a huge takedown right there, man. Would have been a huge takedown. Huge takedown that would have been. <coughs> Huge takedown. <coughs> yep. And that's why I left it there. And there goes his last reroll immediately. Well, that's good. At least he's out of rerolls now. Yep, and then he'll come down and mark. Force me to blitz there, which is fine. <coughs> I am perfectly okay with that. <coughs> I am perfectly okay with that. <coughs> oh, come on with the uphills. <coughs> The uphill no fails. <clears throat> Gonna go uphill instead of a one die and he gets the double yellow. Fucking amazingly stupid, man. What an absolutely terrible play. <clears throat> he had a one die here. Instead, let's just get motherfucking lucky as fuck. <clears throat> that's the kind of shit that's frustrating as hell and pisses me off. Absolutely stu stupid, stupid play, and he gets away with it. Oh, my God. So sick, man. <coughs> so fucking sick. <coughs> so... Actually, I know what I'm going to do. <coughs> That sucks. I'll just go right there, which is fine. I don't care about that. <clears throat> I'm 
Suck it, bitch, and die. It does slow me down from scoring, though, unfortunately. <coughs> I know what he's gonna do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> he's gonna blitz with the crocs and then bring the crocs over to Mark in here. <coughs> yep. I could see that coming from a mile away. <coughs> Probably should have just left her right there, to be honest. Would you go that route? Of course he makes the fucking dodge. Oh, because he can get one die now. <coughs> That's why. Good play there. I didn't see that play, to be honest. <coughs> Did not see that play. <coughs> Here we go with more double red without failing. So sick of this shit. Double red after double red after double red. He should have rolled a skull by now. Why wouldn't you do it there? Oh, because he didn't have block on that one. That's why. <coughs> Frustrating as fuck, man. <coughs> He'll go here. Where he should go, anyway. <coughs> there we go. That motherfucker's out. There we go, finally, for fuck's sake. <coughs> and we broke it good. So that's one die, and then I could get two die there. <coughs> Break here would be really nice. <coughs> Unfortunately, he's still gonna hit a, get a hit on me with that other source that's freed up right now, and not a whole lot of fucking shit I can do about it. Not a whole lot I can do about it. What it's done is it's gonna it's cut kept me from going for the win. It's gonna probably be a draw now. <coughs> has that guy boneheaded at all this game? I don't think he has. Of course he gets a takedown. <coughs> no break though, so that's good. No take down there is good. He'll do the push. Push the ball out. Probably push the Tomb Guardian, push the ball out. Oh, he didn't take the push. Interesting. So I could go for a potential surf there. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck me. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. 
So disgusting. That's like the seventh or eighth red die, and he hasn't rolled a skull yet, and that's twice that he's got double takedown. Twice. <laughs> and then he just makes a casual fucking five plus. Jesus fuck me, dude. <clears throat> it's absolutely fucking sick. Absolutely fucking sick, man. Um, I take him down, stand him up. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to go here. <coughs> and of course, I roll double fucking red with two dice because why wouldn't I, right? get a push here please ah fuck me we're, we're not gonna be surfing him <coughs> all I needed was a fucking push man or a yellow would have worked too Bitch. <clears throat> Take that, you bitch. Yo fucking bitch. <clears throat> so I can get a one die there. I need him to get burned for not having any fucking rerolls with all this goofy shit he's doing. Yeah, it's, it's a draw now. I can't go for the win, unfortunately. He kept me here for three turns. <clears throat> because his dice were just fucking stupid. <sighs> so frustrating. So frustrating. There he goes again. And yet another takedown. And he did it with the one. He did it with the uphill instead of the guy that could get one die. <clears throat> also, he could get a one die blitz here. Jesus Christ, man! It's absolutely fucking stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. <clears throat> Just makes no sense at all. None. None. I tell ya. None. No sense. <clears throat> Fuck, that means that's where I got a blitz. Fuck me, dude. It's got to be eight or nine red die now with no fucking skull. So that'll be my blitz. Get him here. <clears throat> Lock him up here. Get him here. <clears throat> Let's go for it there. <clears throat> I still got a reroll, so we can do this go for it and be okay with it. Perfect. Break him, please. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Really? 
Really? So we could go uphill, or one die, free a guy up to come in there. So I need to bring him in here. Here. I go there. Yeah, I need to go here. And then he can't get through there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Failing right there would have been nice. <coughs> I get some two dice there, that's fine. And then he'll blitz and then move into Mark. <coughs> yep, blitz the tackle, that way he can dodge him out too. Oh, nice! He'll take down there, it's beautiful. Now we just need him to fail this dodge out. <coughs> Fail this dodge out and we're good to go. Fuck, he makes them both. Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? God damn, dude. So fucking gross. Ugh, so frustrating. Every fucking motherfucking dice his way. Ugh. there if I do it. Alright. Um, fortunately, I don't want to do any of those because I need my reroll. So, we'll bring this guy. <coughs> don't even need a dodge, dude. I just need a yellow. doesn't really matter where I move these guys, so I need to just protect people. So let's move him in here. Move him over here. And then blitz. There we go. All right, we'll take it. After all them fucking lucky ass dice he got. Ugh, so ridiculous, man. Yeah, I had a lot of removals, but I also have some mighty blow. I mean, I should have some removals. Even with you having armor nine, I should have removals. It's way more likely for me to get the number of removals I got than it is for you to do eight or nine red dice uphill, two red dice uphill, and not roll a skull. Way more likely than for that to happen for me than it is for you. <laughs> All right, now he's got two skinks, so he could potentially one turn here. So, <coughs> with no rerolls. So, what's the best way to do this?
<sighs> yeah, I wasn't worried about it. I wasn't going to try to do the chain. It was easier to just get what I got. I had the reroll for getting the yellow, and even if I didn't, all I had to do is dodge out. Now, he did have shadowing, but I wanted to make sure I got away from that, um, from that diving tackle. <clears throat> Well, at least that didn't help him. Oh, he's not going for the one-turner anyway. Okay. Kind of surprised, but okay. So we just got to dodge these hits and this uh, foul that's going to come up. Shape and Paradox gets the uh, touchdown. Misshapen underscore Paradox. When he gets caught, hopefully he didn't break. Ah, oh, what the fuck? My game just crashed. God damn it. <laughs> That's frustrating. Oh, that ain't, that ain't gonna work because it crashed, so I got a crash report. I gotta let this clear out. That's frustrating as fuck, right when he fouled. I didn't even see what the fucking result was. Now we can fire it back up. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm going to go into his stream and say that, actually. Stand in skink because we had Space Cadet miss next game. Ah, <laughs> did it, Spider? That's funny. Too bad it was only an agility bust. Oh, I almost had the fan favorite. I almost had claimed the fan favorite's head. <laughs> he evidently got an edge bust. <laughs> that was oh, a wait crazy a minute, it's game, not letting though, me. Man. You were bashing me all oh, over the place. Oh, it just ended the game. But I was getting away with fucking it murder the game. on my red D's. And a couple yeah. Saurus. Okay, so just well, one Saurus dodge. I think two Crocs dodges. Uh, even though he had break tackle, I didn't have to use it. <laughs> that was a hell of a game, man. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen fan favorite in a, in a game, to be honest. First time for everything, you know? You know? <clears throat> Shit, so it was an edge bump, and I failed regen. Damn, that sucks. No way, dude. Your removals were insane. Don't even. Don't even. You got a rock on the first kickoff. You got a rock on the first kickoff. And I got a blitz on turn 8. If that blitz had been on turn 9, could have gone completely different as well. <sighs> but you know, that's Blood Bowl. That's Blood Bowl. It was a, it was a fun game for sure, for sure. I'm still. Uh, not when I'm hitting AV7 and you're hitting AV9, but uh, also you made all of your regen rolls. Generals. I 
I did fail the last one. Because I got to go with three Tomb Guardians this next game now, and that's a minus, a Mighty Blow, and a Guard, unfortunately. That stinks. No, it doesn't count except for the fact that if it, you hadn't uh, rolled a, a, a push on that uh, that last one or a pow, I mean, on that last roll too, it was real close. It was real close. You almost didn't make that go for it to screen with your uh, with your skeleton. I didn't lose, Vorkon. Get wrecked. I'm still three wins away from wildcard spot. Should have just dodged away from my diving tackle guy. Probably that's probably what you should have done. Oh man, 40's tough. Uh, it's like Stranglethorn Veil, vale, um, yeah, maybe some like. Hillsbred. Yeah, Shadowing didn't didn't really show up against uh, against the Kemri team, but uh, Shadowing Saurus are the best man. They are the highest movement strength four player next to vampires. Vampires don't count. Vampires don't count, though. Yeah, dude. All right. Stranglethorn is uh, like PTSD inducing for sure. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna jump out of here. Jump out of his stream. Nope. Jump out of his stream. There we go. All right, so we are gonna be struggling our next match with only three Tomb Guardians. We're gonna have to hope for a uh, a good matchup and good dice. Uh, but we didn't lose, so that's good. Nine, six, and four. Yeah, and we'll be minus the fan favorite, which sucks. Um, so let's see what that is. Nine, six, and four. That is 52.48, which will put us at... We'll still be third place. <clears throat> 52.48 yeah we're still two uh we're still third place and we'll still be probably four games behind the uh leader but we're gonna get some more games in because we want to get to 30 so we can keep our fan favorite because i absolutely did not know about that so if we can get to 30 games and he lives we'll be good Oh, yeah, you're right, because he just missed it. Actually, I don't think he's missed any other games. Let's go check and see, though. So the player has to make 30 games. He's made 19, which is what I just played. So he had not missed a game. So, yeah, now he's got to make... He's still got to play 11 more matches. Fan favorite is a skill that the person that won the previous... Um, overall champs ladder, the whole thing, uh, including making the playoffs and not running through the playoffs. On the next team that he starts, in the next season that starts, he gets to choose one player to put fan favorite on. So, in 25, season 25, I won with Kimry. With uh, this Kimry team right here. They won the uh, the playoffs. They beat. They had a really good run in the playoffs. They beat. Um, they beat the Chorfs here of. Um, was that that was an Andre? Uh, whose Chorfs was that? I can't remember whose Chorfs that was. Let's go see here. So the first round, they beat those guys. Ass, day one, chores. And that was Elyad. Elyad's chores. And Elyad was ranked number 
six overall from from the season one of Champs Ladder all the way through season twenty five. We're in twenty seven now, but all the way through season twenty five, <coughs> all the coaches get ranked based on how they've done through the the regular season playoffs or actually just playoffs I think making playoffs and then how they've done through the playoffs. Elyad's ranked number six out of the the hundreds of coaches that are actually ranked or however many it is. So I beat him round one. Round two, I had to play Wood Elves. Yeah, I played the Wood Elves of Nooms, and Nooms is pretty highly ranked too. I think like 15 or something like that. I forget, but somewhere in there. Um, and he had beat me in the regular season with this same matchup. He would beat me uh, 1-0 to zero or 2-0, to zero, I forget. <coughs> so I beat him in round two. Round three, I had to beat uh, Singolo's Undead, and Singolo's ranked in the top 20 as well. Round four, I had to beat Andre's... Um, Chaos yeah Chaos and Andre is ranked number one so I beat the number one ranked guy and then the last week I had to beat Crucifer's Chaos Dwarves and he's ranked number four so in those five games I beat the number one ranked guy, the number four ranked guy the number six ranked guy and then two other guys that were in the top 20 to win the championship and uh, first Kimry team to win it by the way so because of that, that that tournament was playing during during season 26. So season 26, I didn't get to use it, but the start of the next season after that completed, which was season 27, I got to pick one player to put fan favorite on. And I put it on this Tomb Guardian here. Fan favorite, what it does is, if your player's on the pitch when a kickoff happens, then you receive plus one fame for any kickoff event that has to do with fame. So the cheerleader, the, the pitch invasion, the throw rock, and the coaches. I get an automatic plus one to every one of those roles, no matter what else goes on, if he's on the pitch when the kickoff happens. So if I win, if I win fame <coughs> plus one, then I get a plus two because of the fan favorite adds to it. If I win fame by two, then I get a plus three. And then, because I'm carrying a coach and a cheerleader, if it's the coach or the cheerleader kickoff event, I'd get another plus one on top of that. So, if I win fame by one, and you add in my cheerleader or my coach and my fan factor, that's already a three right off the bat. And if my opponent doesn't have a coach or a cheerleader, then that means he doesn't get a reroll no matter what. Um, so, if I win fame plus two, and then my fan favorite, that means I'm a plus three on pitch invasion. And a plus three on uh, throw a rock. So basically, instead of on a throw a rock, it's a straight die six. So uh, I would have plus three to my roll. So my opponent would have to, if I rolled a four, no, if I rolled a three, my opponent would have to roll a six to tie. <clears throat> on pitch invasion, it's a six. You roll for each guy on your roster, and if it's a six, he gets uh, stunned. So for me, it would be. A six plus three, so it would be a six, a five, a four, and a three. So the only ones that I would fail on would be a one and a two. So that would be the ultimate one right there. <coughs> I have plus three. Pitch invasion comes. My opponent rolls eleven times, and he rolls. Uh, he rolls two twos. So everything else is a three plus. So he's now down nine players to start that kickoff or that drive. <clears throat> so that's what fan favorite is that's how it works that's how you get it evidently i didn't know this but evidently if your player in that season plays 30 games and survives then you get to take that fan favorite skill and move it to any player you want on the next team that you build in the next season you only get it once uh, for per season you only get it once per season so i can't if this guy died, I can't add it to another player. Or if this team gets retired and I start a new team in a new run, I don't get to add it to a new player there. It's the first team you create in whatever player you choose, and that's it for that season. But if they survive 30 games, then you can transfer that skill to the new team that you get. And I don't know if the way Stryker was talking, and this may be the case, but I don't know, but the way Stryker was talking... He was trying to get the trophy or trying to take it. So I don't know if maybe if you kill the player that has it, you get to then use it. I don't know. I'd have to look in the rules and see. 
and that piece I just don't know about. I should know because I'm a... Uh, actually, a development might know. Uh, I should know since I'm an admin, but I just don't. <laughs> Nobody's really used... Fan to begin with, we've had this since Season 1, but the only people that could put it on the team was Cyanide or Focus. And Cyanide never did. Focus was the one that always did it. And Focus left a few seasons ago. So we didn't. Have, the admins didn't have the ability to until last season. Cyanide finally gave us the ability to do it. So now the admins can add it. So it's never really been used since like Season 2 or 3 or 4, somewhere around there. It was the last time I think that it was actually used. He just wanted bragging rights. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, it's an actually it's it's in the tabletop rules, but it's a special skill. <clears throat> and I don't remember the exact. I don't, I don't know if it's in the current rule set, but it was in one of the rule sets at some point in time. And I don't know how you get it. I don't remember because I've never actually played with it before <clears throat> in any of my tabletop leagues or tournaments or anything. <clears throat> But it is actually a, a, a skill that Blo uh, Games Workshop came up with that was in one of the versions of the rules at some point in time. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a few skills like that, that. I think there is anyway. Two or three skills like that, if I remember right, that you can get. And then they also have like different glittering prizes, depending on what format you're playing in. Like, Fumble has prizes like called a magic sponge, stuff like that, where you can remove an injury, a permanent injury, or you can bring a guy back from, from death and recreate him on your team, something like that. I, I forget exactly what they are, but you can only win those by winning a major tournament. <coughs> it's one of the prizes handed out like that. What's up, Rex? The Ooligan. Yeah, no, it's unavailable for anything like that. The only way you can put it on is with the tool that the the admin tool that the admins have for moderating the anything in the game and um, banning coaches in the game for concedes and bad behavior and that kind of stuff. <coughs> so yeah, to answer your question, Jack Bull, it's not available to anybody to just go in a league and put it on somebody. Yeah, only in Champions. Uh, no, actually, I could do it in any league. With my with the tool that we have, I could go in and I could put it on a player in my own league right now if I wanted to, but um, we're not supposed to. We're only supposed to put it on the the previous champion in Champs Ladder. Not the admin. The admins in in CCL in Champs Ladder, which of which I am one. There's three or four of us. Only us four that have access to the ban tool, the moderated moderation tool, can do it. <clears throat> but technically, I guess I could, like I said, I could put it on a player in any league that I wanted to if I really wanted to do it. But <clears throat> I have a feeling that might be frowned upon. Oh shit, I'm still recording this. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my people back to the beginning. They do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave, they live.